Hi, my name is Dr. Udramon and through the Oral Health Channel, today I'm going to be talking about a fact that I've come across in my practice and unfortunately there is no scientific literature to support it in this episode. Let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about a very common chief complaint that I've been getting in my practice. Maybe it's because of the Indian subcontinent that I'm getting it. I get a lot of patients who come up with me with two complaints. One is that they get a lot of blackish pigmentation, brownish pigmentation in their mouth. And they also complain of oral burning sensation in their mouth without having any underlying aggravating factors such as an oral abusive habit history. That means no history of smoking, tobacco or anything of that sort. Now, when I ask these patients that when did you notice them, they tell that yes, they've been having these spots that have come, they're increasing in size in the area and sometimes they also give burning sensation. Usually it is either physiological pigmentation, but physiological pigmentation should not give you burning sensation and it should not be spreading out. Now, when I check for any other local factors such as trauma and there's nothing, I ask them this one question. And unfortunately, I've gone through almost a very extensive literature to find out any correlation between this one question that I asked them. And if this has some sort of causal association with what I see in their mouth, which is, do you have any gastrointestinal trouble? That means, do you have any, you know, uh, problems of constipation or acidity or bloating or gas or the fact that you're not able to go to the washroom properly in once? Uh, in one go or your bowel movements are irregular now I don't have the proper statistics because I'll have to run my data but I've come across that more than 60% of the patients that means 6 out of 10% of patients who don't have any oral abusive history and who are having these complaints of spread of pigmentation in the mouth and burning sensation in their mouth without any cause have some sort of a gastrointestinal problem now, I went through the literature about oral gut dysbiosis. I went through, uh, you know, other diseases like IBS, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, so many things. But I could not find a correlation between the pigmentation and the problem with gastrointestinal disturbances. It's very weird that this thing has not been talked about. But I have come across in my practice. I am not substantiating it with any literature, although I'm trying to find a lot uh, of literature about this I've gone through a lot of articles but I've not found any sort of association in the literature where it talks about that a person is undergoing some sort of gastrointestinal distress such as flatulence uh, constipation bloating acidity reflux with pigmentation in the mouth or burning sensation in the mouth without any aggravating factors such as an oral abusive history now this is something that we should be as dentists be careful uh, uh, because especially around India where the diet is very rich in oils and it's very adulterated on top of that a lot of educated people but when I mean educated the more medically aware people who have undergone you know some sort of test such as uh, ultrasound for the liver and they've come across with the fatty liver and they have shown that when, uh, once their fatty liver is diagnosed and when they have undergone the treatment for fatty liver in terms of medications, their oral uh, pigmentation spread has been stopped. On top of that, their burning sensations have been uh, you know, reduced and they've been curbed and sometimes even gone. Now, this is a very startling fact, which I'm very surprised that no one is ready to talk about because I have noticed this in my, in my practice that around six to eight out of 10 patients of mine who have no contributory history to uh, you know any sort of pigmentation or burning sensation such as diabetes such as uh, oral abusive history of tobacco alcohol nicotine anything of that sort have this but also have gastrointestinal disturbances so this is something that i think as dentists we need to work on more and find out more not just the burning sensation that could still be uh, prevalent in literature but the melanin pigmentation which is usually seen due to chronic irritation such as local factors such as traumatic teeth and cusps but the endogenous factors such as acid acidity uh, and gastrointestinal issues is something that needs to be looked into so if you are a patient who does not have any oral abusive history and you are puzzled because your diabetes scores are normal you don't have any sort of 
DP issues, you don't have any sort of uh, chronic irritation, local irritation, you don't have any oral abusive history, but you're still perplexed as to why you are having this blackish brownish pigmentation, let's say you're racially white or Caucasian, and it's coming and spreading more and sometimes it's giving you burning sensation. There's a high likely chance you need to ask yourself this question, am I having a proper digestion or not? Is my gut healthy or not? Am I having bloating, acidity, reflux, or any sort of gastrointestinal disturbances? Are my bowel movements proper or not? And if the answer to any of this question is no, then you need to go and get yourself checked out with the gastroenterologist and just see if everything falls in place after the treatment starts and your pigmentation spread stops, your burning sensation stops, then we found what we were looking for. On top of that, if you feel that you're having a lot of bloating and all these symptoms, do definitely get a gastroenterologist checkup and get an ultrasound for your liver after your gastroenterologist consult maybe you might be suffering from fatty liver so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly refrain from calling me directly as i might be busy with patients or otherwise just drop me a message on whatsapp and wait for a couple of days i will reply soon and if you have any queries doubts apprehensions or insights please feel free to put them in the youtube comment section so that's it for today thank you <music>